In today's video, we're doing the rear disc conversion on my EF, and I'm going to show you how to do that step by step. Let's go ahead and get started with the video. What's going on everybody? Welcome to Texan Channel. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. So in this video, we're going to be putting the rear disc conversion on. Um, but before that, I I'm gonna go show you what we got going on out here. The K20 engine and transmission being loaded up right here. So you guys missed out. You had the opportunity to get it. He jumped on it like the smart individual he is. He's gonna be putting it in his uh, 96 or 97, which yeah, 97. one? <laughs> 97 Civic. So he's gonna be putting the K20 oh, swap God. in there. So this is the K20A, uh, the JDM engine. It's pretty heavy. We had to get the cherry picker out here and we had to dolly it from the uh, shed. But I'm gonna show you uh, what I got in trade for that. So he gave me $400 cash plus these goodies right here. Super happy about that. You know, freedom and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, so once we get that all situated in his car, we can start on the removing the trailing arm. The trailing arm bushings in those trailing arms for the rear discs are actually in really, really good shape. We will be eventually upgrading those to solid ones for the track use, um, but we're gonna go ahead and rip all this out here in just a moment, so. I'm gonna slide, dude, now. There's that Casey. What up? See, I'm still here. Yep, he's back. <laughs> there we go. Actually, so they're gonna basically strap side. that in place so it doesn't I have a, fall uh, over. I have ratchets. Casey actually swapped the engine since last time. Um, it is actually a full Z6 now we got from our buddy Alan uh, back in Kansas. So he picked it up for a couple hundred bucks and this is a strong running Z6. We actually raced my car versus his and uh, because I don't have VTEC, he started to pull on me on the top end. Like, literally, if I had VTEC, we'd have been a dead even tie the whole way. But right up top where VTEC engages, that's where he started pulling away because he actually has a P28. I have a P06 computer, but this car is definitely, definitely a bucket. It looks like a turd, but pulls pretty decent. Short gears, uh, stage four racing clutch, lightweight flywheel, solid mounts. It's definitely pretty quick for what it is. Goku. Like some people leave alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a habit. A habit. Uh, so he's going to be getting that put in his car. It's gonna be pretty cool. So he's gotta get going though before his wife kills him. If you're watching this, I'm sorry for keeping him so long. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's ready to go. Can't wait to see that thing in that car. It's gonna be fun. But. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way and let you get back on the road, so. Yep, we'll see you later. If you need anything, let me know. Okay, so now we can get to working on this beast. Okay, so now we're gonna swap out the rear trailing arm with this one. Now, this rear, rear trailing arm bushing is really sturdy compared to the one on the car. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Not supposed to do that. Also, this bushing back here, if I can hold this still, is completely shot as well. I think this one's shot because of that one. So I will have to replace the bushings in the block's lower control arms. But more importantly, I'll have brakes. Uh, for right now, that's what I'm mostly focused on because I can't drive the car without brakes. So we're going to undo the 14 millimeter bolt up here, making sure to spray all the threads with a penetrant. Um, the 14 here. We're not going to remove these. We're just going to remove that 14 down here, the 14 bolt right here. Then under the trailing arm, where the bushing is, right here, is a 17 millimeter bolt and one on the other side. Okay, so after you remove the 17 millimeter bolts for the trailing arm bushing, you'll move up. There's a 14 millimeter bolt there. I'd remove that one. 
I would not touch this one over here for this arm or you will throw the alignment off more. So I'm just gonna undo that one. Then you'll have this e-brake cable here. There's a bolt that holds it in right there that's a 12. And deeper in there, there's another. You're gonna want to probably drop the exhaust down a little bit so you can get up in there. It just makes it a lot easier. And then we go inside the car. All right, so in the car, you'll have the center console. Some of your center consoles may be a little different than this one. I had the JDM one in here, but I traded my brother for this one uh, because I actually don't mind this, and I have a cup holder, which Yoshi's in. So basically, you'll go in here, you'll pop this little cover up right there, the flathead. There'll be two bolts. This, in my case, I only have one screw in it just for right now. Uh, you'll remove those, and then once we get that removed, I'll show you more. All right, now with it removed, you can see right here that there is two 12 millimeter bolts. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is remove those, and then you'll basically pull these out, because this will turn like that. You can pop it out and do the same to the other side. After that, we'll go back underneath the car. There's 10 millimeter bolts right there that we'll need to remove to pull these through, or we can just feed them right through the rubber grommets. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done. Pull the lines through, just like this. That right here, there's gonna be a 12 bolt, another 12 bolt, and then all the other bolts I showed you. And that's basically, now we'll get the emergency brake line out and then we'll go over the rest. So there's the difference. Trailing arm bushing actually just fell all the way out. So we're basically going to install this one the exact same way we pulled this one out. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in and then we'll go from there. Got it all bolted up there. It is definitely solid now compared to before. Um, the only thing we have to do is connect that line. Like I said, waiting for that part. So we'll finish this project up tomorrow. Um, but I did want to open this and inspect it and show you guys um, just in case anyone's wondering how to take the drum off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so I went through my bolts bucket and I found a threaded bolt it's the same thread pitch as your distributor so whatever that is um, and basically you'll just thread them in like so and the best way I found to do it is to torque them down pretty good Oof. Well, one of many things was broken here. Look at that. That's horrible. Also, definitely, wheel cylinder popped all apart and leaked all the fluid. So this was metal to metal on this side. That's horrible. But the wheel uh, bearing is definitely bad on this one. You could hear it humming whenever you drive. Listen. That's horrible. So it's a good thing we uh, went with the rear disc conversion because I know the ones on the rear discs are smooth. Okay, so it's the next day. I ended up getting the brake line, both of them. Uh, I ordered them, but they still hadn't came. So I just said, screw it, went to Budget Wrench Apart in Belton, Texas. 
and found these on an Integra with a full rear disc on it already. So I picked them up. They're really good. There's no issues with them. I'm also going to be installing these fog lights. Probably not in this video um, because my lights just absolutely suck. It's just the JDM headlights kind of suck on these uh, JDM front end swaps. But these are just white, but I'm going to amber them so they match. Um, just got them at Walmart for like 25 bucks. And then my buddy Anthony, who Tony, the one that you see that always uh, puts the banners on our cars, he hooked me up with an AEM gauge for 150 bucks. It's actually a $200 gauge with the sensor and everything. So I'll be installing that as well coming soon. But I gotta go eat real quick and then we will install these on the car. And uh, then we bleed the brakes and go see how it drives. Okay, so I got both brake lines installed on the rear. Now there is no brake fluid in here currently, but I'm about to add some more. The brake master cylinder was re replaced prior to me, so we don't have to worry about old nasty fluid in here. It's pretty clean. Um, so I'm gonna fill this up, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be starting at the back passenger side, and I'm gonna crack open the valve until it starts dripping out, then I'm gonna close it, and then I'm gonna go to this one, do the same thing, then to this one, then to this wheel. Um, after that is done, when though there's fluid, no air in the line, then we will bleed them with Casey, most likely pressing the brake, building up pressure, and uh, then we'll do the same thing, starting on the back passenger, moving to the driver's side, to the passenger front, and then to this one. You always want to start in the method where the longest brake line away from the master cylinder is what you start with. So. That's basically how we're going to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and put some fluid in here and get to it. All right, so now we're back at the back passenger. I'm going to have Casey pump the brakes up. And hold them. Fluid came out, so we're going to have them do it again. Hold them. There's some air. Again. Hold it. Definitely more air. Hold it. All right, this side's looking pretty good. Okay, so we got the front bleeded as well as the back. Fluid is topped off fully. Now you should replace this right here. It's a brake proportioning valve, a 50-50 valve. Um, this one's already been replaced with a 50-50 valve prior to me getting the car, so I didn't have to. But you can get them off the same thing you get the rear disc conversion off of. Um, I think EGs, all EGs have it unless they're ABS models. I don't know. Don't quote me on that one. But uh, it's all bled, everything's torqued down. Now, I put the center console back in, and on the back, right down there, there is a 12 millimeter, this one right here. You can adjust that 12 millimeter nut to tighten the e-brake up um, if it's not tight enough, but it's tight enough, so I just figured I'd tell you that. But we're gonna take it down the street, and we're gonna see how it does um, with the stopping, because before, it was absolute garbage for obvious reasons. Um, it'll probably grind at first just because there's a lot of rust on the actual rotor and then it should clear up pretty soon. So we're going to go ahead and take it out. Here we go. All right, so it's driving. Very little grinding noise, which I thought there'd be a lot more, but it's still there just very slightly. I'm going to go ahead and slow down real fast and see if it stops. Before I hit the brake, it'd do nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and try right now. Oh yeah, it definitely stops better. Holy cow. Let's try this. Hit the brake and the e-brake. Okay. <laughs> that definitely worked. Alright. Now we're just going to go drive it around a little bit and then uh, head back to the house and see, see how everything looks. Alright. 
it drives so incredible now. Rear disc conversion definitely makes a difference um, over drum. Also, it looks better, but mostly the difference it actually makes in the braking is incredible. So anything was technically better than what I had. I mean, because that's just trash. There's no wheel hub hum anymore. It's so nice. And the car's e-brake works a lot better. Like before, when I park in my driveway, the car would roll backwards even with the e-brake all the way up. Now, it barely even has to be pulled up and it stops. So, huge difference. Love it. Um, I also installed the fog lights down here, which I painted amber, just using the Duplicolor um, Metal Cast Yellow MC202 is the part number. Sprayed those. Um, got these from Walmart. Basically just ran the wiring in to when I turn the headlights on, they come on. It is a huge difference. I can see the road so much better now, and I think it just gives it a little aggressive of a look. Um, but mostly it's for the function. Less about what it looks like, more about how it works. And it works incredible. But that's basically it for the conversion. Um, we do have a lot more stuff that's going to be coming out soon. I got to get these and put them in our parts shed. I have a whole shed full of parts. Um, you can actually use these factory rear trailing arms with the rear disc conversion. So you can take the rear disc conversion off of an Integra or something like that and bolt it onto these uh, rear trailing arms, which is really cool. Um, but I highly recommend upgrading the trailing arm bushings with aftermarket polyurethanes, or they even have spherical bearing ones. Those are pretty incredible too. Um, definitely made a difference in ride comfort having proper ones that actually work right there. I'm happy with the outcome. Getting a cool new little toy back here. Definitely going to go shoot it and have some fun with that. Got a lot of ammo with it. So pretty happy about that. Um, so yeah. There's definitely more stuff coming. I'll be installing that AEM gauge here soon. Uh, that way I can get it ready for the turbo setup. Also installing the um, racing radiator that pulled out of Casey's car. I gotta clean it up. It's just dirty and needs repainted. But it's two years and a thousand miles a week on this thing and it's held up great, just a cheap eBay one. But this one will actually fit in there with the turbo. The big one I have under the hood right now doesn't quite fit with the turbo setup so definitely gonna be changing that have a lot more plans coming and AJ's uh, still in Kansas for the time being visiting family he'll be back soon and we'll start getting some stuff done to his car so really excited to see how all this stuff's progressing and really happy to have subscribers like you guys watching it huge shout out to all of you um, thanks for hitting the like button dropping comments below subscribing and sharing the videos it's helping the channel grow a lot and the more the channel grows, the more the word gets out, the more I can do to these cars and get you better content. But I'm going to go ahead and get off here. So I'll see you guys in the next one. As I like to say, God bless. Stay safe. Stay awesome.